His mother is inconsolable. The untimely death of her son, David Mwale, has affected her. Neighbors and relatives alike are still trying to come to terms with the bad news. David died after he got electrocuted when he stepped into a pool of water and without knowing, there were some live electricity cables in the stagnant water. The 11-year-old was in the company of his friends when this happened. We were going to the market. I just heard him scream. When I looked back, he had fallen to the ground. When he fell down, I tried to lift him, and I got an electric shock. That's how I ran home to call his mother. His father, William Wale, is also devastated. The community is worried about the increase in illegal electricity connections in the area. After I felt the electricity, electricity power, that's when he, they had to run away to come and inform us here. The moment we reached at the scene, he was already dead. I was born in Irangane, I was born in this is not the first time that we're getting reports of people getting shot by electricity here. We are calling on Zesco to quickly move in. There are too many illegal connections in this neighborhood. We are asking and calling on Zesco to quickly move in the area. I've also visited the scene of David's death, and this man admits to having illegally connected power to his neighbors. People didn't get the permission there because they just came up from three. Which they help us, we have got a problem there. How many houses have you connected? If so far, I connected that to a big one there, mm -hmm. and the, this was small one. That's Meanwhile, Zesco senior manager for corporate affairs, John Kunda, says the matter is under investigations. Our product security team will be engaged to ensure that they investigate the issue as well as come up with recommendations so that we can uh, enhance our sensitization programs in communities. Many other people have also complained of electric shocks around the area where David died from. Patricia Mapiki, ZNBC News, Garden House Kalundo, in Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.